Recently, I was thinking to make a small TV slash monitor, which will be very useful for personal use, which is not too bad within $20, and it will look like little bit like a commercial one. If I talk about picture quality of this monitor, it is as same as a LCD monitor. The board which is controlling this monitor is very cool. It can control any kind of LCD slash LED panel. Do you want to make a TV slash monitor for your personal use? Then keep watching this video. I will give you all the instruction in this video. Let's get into it. I am using N411L1 LCD panel for my monitor. You can find this kind of LCD in old laptop. And I am using this V69 board as a brain of this monitor. You can get a VGA input cable, HDMI input socket, AV input socket, audio input output, at last RF socket for TV on this board. And the best part of this board is it needs no software for the panel. You can use any kind of LCDs of any kind of resolution, but you only have to select which pin you are putting on the jumper for the perfect resolution. For which resolution which jumper you have to connect is been described in the diagram on the back side of this board. Also you will get a switch panel and a IR panel and the socket for them is this. And there is another socket which is for the monitor panel and I put this plug in the monitor. And there is another wire for the connectivity for the CFL. For this purpose I am using an inverter of a laptop. And I connect all the connection like a positive, negative, brightness and a backlight. And I give 12V in the V69 board and press the power button. And you can see the LED is working. When I realized that it is work perfectly, I unplugged all the wire from it. If you want to more information about this V69 board, then there is another video on this board and the link is in the description. Whatever I need to put to frame on it, by that it will look like a monitor. So I decide to make a frame out of plywood. Now I measure the size of LCD panel and mark on the plywood. And I cut it out my drill saw and I cut out this 5 piece of wood. I use laptop shocker as a 360 degree rotation stand. I am not expert in this kind of thing, however, I made a frame out of this plywood. So I made some hole for the switch panel and I made some space where the B69 board sets perfectly and I put some green color on it. After painting is fully dry up, I reassemble it. After completing my reassembling, now I face a problem which is about the button and panel wire socket. So I unplug them and instead of them I plug some long knob button and the wire socket behind this PCB. And I fix it with some screw. I cut the IR panel ribbon wire and insert in the hole. And I soldered the wire on the IR panel board and fixed it IR panel with some screw. I attached this LCD panel with this wooden frame and tied up some small screw. Finally in the end I give 12V, press the power on button, insert a pen drive and select a file and open it. And it is working well. If you like this video then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated.